Are you ready for three homeschool holiday hacks that are gonna help you simplify things in your homeschool so you can actually enjoy the season and get the learning done that you need done? Well then, let's get started. Today, I have three different hacks for you guys and lots of fun ideas on how you can implement these hacks in your homeschool. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna simplify our academic load. You're gonna identify your academic bare minimums for the season. Now, you are gonna wanna make sure that you check out HSLDA to check out your homeschool state laws to make sure you are keeping in compliance with all things illegal. And you're gonna wanna think about your child's academic goals. So for instance, your older middle school or high school students might have a different bare minimum than your elementary and younger students. Things you can do to simplify during this busy holiday season is to consider pausing or adapting specific subjects. For example, we pause all science and history during the Christmas season. We wrap all of that up within the first week to 10 days of December so that we don't have those extras kind of muddying up our schedule as we go throughout the holiday season. Some people pause all of school and just focus on holiday learning specific tasks. So they still count it as school days. They still have lots of holiday learning, but they don't do any of their normal curriculum or subjects. Another option with this though is considering adapting your curriculum. So maybe you are a family that does a lot of teacher intensive subjects that you have something like what I have in my home with six kids, many of who have special needs. Sometimes during the holiday season, I will adapt their teacher intensive thing and settle for more review. We'll do a lot more worksheets during this time or my personal favorite, I will sometimes record myself at night after the kids have gone to bed teaching a concept or reviewing a concept with my kids and have them watch over that and maybe do an assignment on their own. This just helps ensure that all the learning happens and things get done without anybody having to suffer due to our busier schedule. The last thing you're going to wanna do when it comes to balancing the academic schedule is to really think through what do you want the holiday learning to look like versus the regular academic year? A lot of times people try to place a lot of extras in, but you could just dedicate a totally separate day to do holiday themed activities. For instance, fun Fridays and doing holiday movies and baking and learning activities that way and doing your typical schedule Monday through Thursday. Or for some, you may prefer to keep all of your academics exactly the same and not add any extra additional activities or learning events and instead do maybe a fun outing or a field trip that's extra special. Just be careful about what all you add to your plate and consider what your bare minimums are of what you need to get done and consider those things of what you actually feasibly can get done. So for all those extra activities and field trips and holiday parties, consider maybe putting a one a week maximum on those types of activities as they take a lot more effort and energy. Now, we obviously are talking all things homeschooling in this video as I'm sharing different hacks with you. But before I go to our next one, I did want to say this is a video I'm partnering up with my friend Wendy from Plan Prep Pray On, and she is actually sharing homeschool holiday hacks for homeschool moms, but more on the home management aspect of it. So you'll be sure you wanna go check out that video and subscribe because Wendy and I will actually be doing a Q&A later this December, and we would love to have you there and to answer all of your burning questions. The second hack is to consider replacing, not adding. I know it can be really easy to see all of the different videos and posts on Pinterest and Instagram and YouTube and think you have to add all of these things to your homeschool day. But instead, look at what you are already doing and see if there's something you can swap out. For example, we are swapping out our typical Bible curriculum just for the holiday season for the not consumed Advent study. You can learn more about that in this video up here or down in the description below. And this is just a fun way that we can switch it up and make it more holiday themed without adding anything new to our day. We also are doing this with our Christmas book. You see, with my elementary students, I read a picture book every single day, and we have ones that are more themed around what we're learning in history or maybe a different character concept I want them to learn. Instead, during the holiday season, I put those books off to the side, and I have filled their little cubby of books they get to choose from with Christmas books. They can quickly go grab a Christmas book, and we can read that during their snack time just as we do every single day, but it's a great way to kind of sneak in some holiday fun. When it comes to listening to things in the car, maybe you typically listen to music or a podcast, 
Maybe you could swap that out though and replace it with listening to A Christmas Carol. Or I know Adventures in Odyssey has an Advent album where they have 25 episodes that are all Christmas themed leaning up to the day of Christmas. So you can listen to one of those to add a little extra fun holiday magic to your day. Let me know what kinds of things do you replace and swap out during the holiday season? Drop it down in the comments. The third thing is to really just take advantage of some of the special holiday learning opportunities that are not normally there during the typical season really thinking about those different activities and expounding on the educational value involved in those. No, it's not good enough to just say, well, you know, with wrapping presents, they're using some fine motor skills. No, we, we need to think through actual learning opportunities. So when you're baking, it can be a great opportunity to talk about measurements and doubling and doing that math. But if we're just doing it for our child, it doesn't really count. So think about those things that you're already doing that you can turn into a learning experience. Here are some examples. When you're watching a fun Christmas movie, consider looking for some extra learning opportunities through some of the amazing packets that Kids Learning for Life have created to go along with movies. Our favorite is The Grinch. We watch it every year and then they have this fun little educational unit study that we do just that one night. We don't do it all throughout the season and we're able to learn some about the movie facts around the creation of the movie, but also some other fun educational lessons that are already built in for me. Now, if you're super creative, you can do this kind of thing on your own as well and have that child watch the movie, talk about the lessons that were learned, learn about the set, the history, the storyline, talk about the characters, the setting, things like that. You could have your child work on budgeting skills as they are maybe given a budget to purchase a gift for the different people in their home or helping them plan out, do all the grocery shopping for and prepare holiday meals or snacks. All of these things can be fun ways to simplify the busyness of the holiday season and get that maximum impact out of the learning. If you want to learn more about a few of my favorite Christmas books that I recommend that you check out this holiday season, be sure to check out this video here.